16th of July 2021. I am meteorologist Robert Spetta. Have a lot to unpack today with our invest area, so be sure to try to watch the video all the way through. Right now, though, it is being uh, labeled a low pressure area, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. I just have this elongated trough here on our satellite analysis because that's kind of what it mostly looks like here. Uh, basically, a spread out area of convection, acting a little bit of wind shear, thanks to an upper level low off towards its north. But uh, model guidance continue to be persistent of this developing into something and pulling off towards southwestern Japan. Here's a look at that wind shear, though, pulling in from the north, really kind of flattening out the northwestern periphery of it. But there is a low level center trying to develop there on the eastern portion of it. But here's the key thing. Look at our water vapor imagery. Plenty of convection flaring up with this. And what that means is that you do have that moisture. So if, if we do start to see that shear lax, which is likely going to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours. This is going to first develop more into a better organized low pressure area and then eventually a tropical depression. Uh, actually, JMA does expect it to become a tropical depression in the course of the next 48 hours. So here's your main points and I want you to always remember these main points and I try to emphasize these because I know you guys you uh, have a tendency to just only watch so far. Monsoonal low likely to develop into the weekend. Possible impacts to Japan if it does develop as far as direct impacts. But you have local flooding and landslides possible with that enhanced monsoon coming in behind it. So make sure to check in with your official sources and your official agencies. Also remember in the Philippines, Bagasa probably is not going to raise signal force warnings for this system. They're going to raise heavy rainfall warnings. Make sure you separate those two and you might be thinking, okay, I don't have a, a, a signal force warning in place. We're good to go. Not really. Signal force warning would be due to those winds if we had a tropical system making landfall. I do not expect that to happen. What will happen, look at this by Friday evening, then as we head into Saturday evening is we get that enhanced monsoonal flow. Yesterday I used the word habaga. Somebody said I was trying to speak Tagalog. I look at it as more of a weather word, it would be like me saying tsunami uh, and trying to speak Japanese. No, it, it, it enhanced habaga here. Remember this will be over towards the weekend as well. Actually did get a comment too. You guys can check out the comments down below. You never know, maybe somebody's probably saying the same thing again. They're saying, well, it's sunny here now. What are you talking about? Guys, this is a forecast. <laughs> I think 99% of you understand that. But when I say there's rainfall coming, it doesn't mean it's raining at your house right now. I'm going to leave it at that. I had a bunch of, actually a few people said that yesterday. They said, it's sunny here. What are you talking about? This is by Saturday evening. So over the weekend, not everybody everywhere is going to see the rain, but there will be those localized areas getting the heavier showers, more so along the western seaboards as this pulls off towards the north. Now, for my friends in Okinawa, by Sunday evening over towards Monday, GFS really wants to pull something into the southwestern Japanese islands. Models have been varying from Taiwan over towards the Amami Islands. I think the key thing is you just want to continue to watch it because this is the GFS for Monday. This is the ECMWF for Monday. There is a wide difference overall. We do have that monsoonal gyre of a system almost with that increased showers for sure partaking across the Philippines. This is the GFS versus the ECMWF, by the way. Just kind of comparing those two out for you here with that system tracking off towards the north. And as you know, I love my SpaghettiOs. There's a look at those SpaghettiOs there. Uh, with the GFS, basically uh, all the variabilities, as far as about 50 variabilities, are put in to try to see if the model wants to change up our system or develop something different. And then despite those initial variabilities, as far as starting off the numerical guidance with the GFS, it still wants to pull a system somewhere across southwestern Japan. The wind flow, though, is the other big thing with that moisture flow cutting in across uh, southern Luzon, central Luzon, all the way down towards Osias. Wherever we see that banding set up is where we're going to see those increase in showers. So, of course, stay safe out there. Key thing, remember, is check in with those official agencies. Thank you for all my friends here on Patreon who have been helping out. You guys are such legends. Can't thank you enough. Tropical depression, typhoon, or super typhoon is how you can help us out here. Plus, over the last few days, I have been working with the guys at Metro Weather. And uh, we're so close, and I keep on saying it. We're very close to getting a new graphic package here, but we really are. Actually, it's currently installed on this computer. Uh, I just need to set everything up. So that's how close we are. It's, it's almost there. So the look and feel of these updates for sure are going to change in the near future. Uh, as always though, 
please subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and follow me on those social media platforms, including Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also TikTok. Stay safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching.